Hello everyone and welcome to Q&A where I answer your baking questions. Now today I've had a question about what is the easiest way to fill a piping bag. Now when you need to use a piping bag, whether you're piping shoe pastry, buttercream, macaron batter, whatever it is, sometimes it's really hard to get that mixture into the piping bag because it seems to be a job for three hands really. Um, but I've got a really simple tip and that is using a jug. This one is about a litre size, which I find is a really good versatile size to use for this uh, task. And what you do is you take your piping bag already fitted with your piping tip, place it into the jug and then fold the top around about a quarter of the piping bag over and press your piping bag into the jug and then that fold can sit on the lip of the jug which holds the piping bag upright and in place so then you have both hands free to actually fill your piping bag. So, and it makes it super easy, um, a lot less mess um, to get your mixture into that piping bag and a lot quicker as well. So it's a really good way of doing that. Now, once it's filled, all you need to do is remove the piping bag from the lip of the jug, give it a little shake because obviously there's a little bit of piping bag at the bottom that's not filled yet. So give it a little bit of a shake and then using your fingertips to press and squeeze the batter or the buttercream or the mi whatever mixture you have in your piping bag to the base. And then just twisting the end. So obviously the mixture can't uh, return up to the other end. This is a macaron batter, so it's quite wet. So having that jug below it too is also a really good idea just to, for any drips that um, come through the other end. So next time you're piping, give this little technique a try and see if it helps make it a little bit easier for you. And if you have any other questions that you would like to ask me, please just pop them in the comments below and I will be sure to come back to it in a future video. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.